Hey, what's up, Cedric McMillan. I'm here at Muscle and Strength Headquarters uh, for SciTech Nutrition. And I wanted to show you a unique movement that I do for triceps. As the rest of the body grows and you get on stage, you hit your poses, and uh, sometimes you can see from certain angles, some body parts uh, may not look as good as they could possibly look in that pose, right? So we all train and we, we wanna try to develop our bodies to look good when we're standing around, you know, in clothes. But sometimes you have to develop your body based on how they look in the poses, right? So you can make sure you can be successful on stage as well. Uh, well, in some of my poses, like for example, uh, side chest pose, side tricep, I want to try to get a little bit more thickness on my tricep. Even standing from the front, like a front relaxed pose, I wanted my triceps to be thicker. So you can see him from the front, like Kevin Lavroni's triceps. I want him to look like that. Um, and I only wanted to work a certain part of my tricep too. A lot of times with most of the movements you do for triceps, I would feel it in the long head here. And I wanted to try to create some stimulation here. Um, so I was fishing around and messing around, trying to find different things that would help me to feel it properly. And uh, I came across these two movements that I'm gonna show you. Um, and uh, it's basically like a one-arm tricep extension, but it's just a little variation, okay? So check it out. Of course, you start first with a high pulley and uh, any type of handle. Um, one thing that, that's very important with this, because whenever I try to show somebody this, they never get it right from the beginning. You have to stand parallel with the pulley, just like this. Not this way, you gotta be straight, parallel. You gotta reach across your body. Now, when I say reach across your body, you need to go this way. Not over your chest, under your chest. That's gonna be very important later. So even if you have to go across to get the weight, you still wanna readjust your body so you can be under the chest, okay? Now, uh, so when you do this movement, reaching under your chest, everything is still parallel. And when you come down, keeping everything close to your body still. And you can even see um, the particular muscle that's moving um, is that same spot I told you was trying to get the stimulation in here. Now, what I like to do, get close to failure with this style. And then from this position, you simply turn it like this. And then you do a few more reps and go to complete failure. This is similar, but feels completely different, but in the same muscle group, in the same area, same spot. And then uh, once again, you go close to failure with the first style. And then with the second, the second position, like this, you go ahead and finish it off and go to complete failure. Make sure you don't come away from your body. You gotta stay close to your body. Don't keep your elbow close and your hand far away. That's it.